Brachos Taf Tezvav, two minute review. The Gemara says we have three pesukim. We have three meanings of the pasuk Erchatz Benikia and Kapai. Either it's teaching me that you should use the restroom before you say Shema so that your body is clean, or it's teaching me that you, if you wash your hands, it's like you went to the mikvah, or it's teaching me that you could clean your hand with everything, with anything, as long as it's for Shema. Shema Nesra, you should go get water up to a mil out of your weight. Then we have the Mishnah who says, which brings three halachas. Somebody who says Shema and he cannot hear his own words. Rabbi Yaisi says you're not Yaitza. Tana Kama who's Rabbi Huda says you are Yaitza. Mumbling, Rabbi Yaisi says you're Yaitza. Rabbi Huda says you're not Yaitza. Reading out of order, everybody agrees you're not Yaitza. Now the Gemara discusses the opinion of Rabbi Huda, whether it was the Hatchil or the Eved. The Gemara brings three cases. Shema, where we have a Machlokes and we're not clear what Rabbi Huda says. It could go either way. Truma, where we have two Mishnais, one says that your Yaitza B'Yavid and one says on the Chadchila, and Berchus Amazain, where it clearly says that your Yaitza B'Yavid. The Gemara winds up saying that there are a number of opinions over here. The Chadchila that your Yaitza, that's Reb Meir. B'Yavid that your Yaitza, that is Reb Lezab and Azariah, and your not Yaitza, that is Reb Yaisi. We do not know exactly where Reb Yehuda fits in, and it could be that he fits in either of them. The Gemara winds up saying that the Halacha is like Reb Lezab and Azariah and Reb Yehuda, that your Yaitza B'Yavid. Rabbi Yosef says, other mitzvahs in the Torah, it's not a discussion. It's clear that you are Yosef B'Dievet. The Gemara says that the grave is like the womb. Both of them take in, take out, and you will eventually come out of the grave into Tchias HaMesim. We are supposed to write the entire parasha of Tefillin and Mezuzah, even the sentence that says, write it, as opposed to Soit the water where you do not write the sentence that says to write it. And you have to be careful to pronounce the words carefully, especially when the letter that begins one word and starts the next word is the same, and you might run it together. If you do pronounce it carefully, they will cool off Gehenim for you.